Oh my god. What? No, no, it's just weird. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I used to, uh, I just got off the ambulance, right? And I was looking for a, a thing to do. And I found a friend that was doing trance festivals. And he was spraying like the most mind blowing UV th patterns on people. So that got me into going with him once. And I got to play with his airbrush. And then I bought my first one right after that. Yes, close to seven years now. Yeah, I can be very off about that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, seven years of all kinds of weirdness. Yes, I feel like the walls are the most untapped part of it. So um, the more walls you can do and show people that with airbrushing you can recycle paints a lot better instead of paying a lot more for graffiti paints. Even though you can uh, decant graffiti spray paint into airbrushes which makes them give you more detail and less spray over. So yeah, there's all kinds of reasons people should use airbrushes because anything you can thin down, you can put through an airbrush and especially with the water, like nothing gets stuck in that airbrush. Well, I haven't really, I've tried um, a few airbrushes and they just feel flimsy. So ever since I bought that one and I put it through hull, it did not break. I just kept replacing small things because I'm very reckless with them. So after that, there was just no reason to go for anything else because they were working so nicely. And when I did get the opportunity to use a different one like Badger and everything, which nothing wrong with Badger, but um, I just prefer the, the detail, I can't be matched, like I can get like really thick paints into a detailed strip. Well the scales are mostly stencils and then freehanding to do the shading on both sides of the line so it gives that three dimensional thing but yeah we projected most of it onto the wall and uh, just follow those tracing lines with an airbrush and as long as your lines are consistent yeah they give you a texture incorporates everything we're about it's absolutely chaotic it has all kinds of biodiversity which is where most of your most amazing patterns lies and animals and nature so yeah it's an explosion of like all kinds of crazy and uh, yeah space travel is by far our best accomplishment so yeah that is worth noting nobody can see at this point but yeah um, the, between the snake and the chameleon 
Yeah, there's little parts of the wall that I think I like best. It's um, the parts that are as sh sharp as I like them to be turns out to be my favorites, like the fish's bubble <laughs> and the turtle's face. So yeah, each artwork has a different when I know I've I've done it well even at a close range. shows the golden spiral it's that spiral that you find everywhere throughout nature anything that you can think of uh, that is biodiverse has some form of this pattern in them I get stock photos of Adobe. Um, I look for the, the the best photos I can find that has the best detail that I feel like would turn out really nicely with airbrushing. Photo can be as beautiful as you can possibly imagine and the airbrush will make it look even more pretty up close because it's so unreal the kind of uh, <clears throat> spray effects you get with the, all the small spray effects so it turns that every picture that I find online but they all are chopped out of actual photographs that people took and then I replicate them onto the wall I make sure that it's the right size and then I use an old school tiny <laughs> projector and a transparent and I project it onto the wall and do some very rough tracing and then I work from the picture that I print out on photo paper. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> yeah. Suck. Yeah, cool. 